Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heads Up, the weekly webcast and podcast of the National Headache Foundation. I'm Dr. Lindsay Weitzel, chronic daily migraine survivor, migraine strategist, and founder of the Facebook group Migraine Nation. I am lucky enough to be here today with Dr. Tim Smith. Hi, Dr. Smith. How are you? Very well, thank you. We are doing a uh, one of our special medication updates because there has been a press release related to a migraine medication. And so we have Dr. Smith on here because he is the CEO of Study Metrics Research and he has done many clinical trials on migraine medications and he's so knowledgeable on migraine medicine. He also happens to be the vice president of the National Headache Foundation. So we are going to talk today about a press release related to Viepti, which is a medicine that Dr. Smith has talked about us, to us about before, and it has already been released, but we're going to talk a little more about it because Viepti is super important, has great results, and was sort of released in the middle of the pandemic. So a lot of us that would really like to try it may not have even heard about it, and now we have another press release about some of what it's able to do for us. So... Dr. Smith, let's chat about Viepti. Can we start by you just telling us what it does, the original studies, what it was meant to do uh, prevention-wise for us and what it is? Sure, um, and uh, thanks uh, for having me on again. Uh, thanks for being yeah. here. Um, so Viepti, or eftinazumab is the generic name, mm -hmm. uh, has been released as one of the CGRP monoclonal antibodies, and everyone's familiar with those. There are four on the market now. Right. And this one is the most recent, uh, most recently released, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, marketed as a preventive, uh, and uh, is um, it shows uh, great results uh, in um, migraine prevention, both uh, for episodic and chronic migraine, and it's uh, indicated and FDA approved for adults for that uh, for that indication, those indications. And one of the things that makes uh, Viepti unique is the mode of administration, which we have discussed, but let's remind everyone, how do we take Viepti? Uh, so Viepti is the one monoclonal antibody uh, that blocks CGRP that is administered intravenously. So patients have to go into the clinic, get an IV started and uh, get an infusion. It's like a 30 minute infusion. Uh, but the wonderful thing is you only have to do it every three months. Right. So you get that long duration of action there. And uh, the IV administration uh, basically gets to uh, full distribution through the body much quicker as well. Okay. So now we know Viapti is available to us. We know that it has strong data behind it as a preventive. Uh, and it's out there, even though we haven't heard a lot about it yet, just because of sort of the chaos in our world. But mm -hmm. there is a new press release with some really exciting information about what Viepti can do for us in the short term. So can you talk to us about what this press release said? Sure. So uh, a little background on it. So from the previous data that was released from the preventive studies, uh, Statistical analysis showed that Viepti uh, reduces your likelihood of having a migraine within the first day of, of receiving it. And so the question came up, well, how long does it really take to kick in? Right. So what uh, the sponsor company did was they designed a study to try to see if it has uh, early onset uh, within two hours, like an acute medication does. Mm -hmm. And so they designed this study they call the relief study. And uh, what investigative sites did was we recruited uh, uh, patients who have migraine from the community and had them sign up to do the study. And if they qualified, then they could come into the clinic, present while they're having a migraine attack, mm -hmm. get the medication infused, and then we did headache diaries with them uh, immediately in the first uh, four hours after the administration, and then they took a diary home. Okay. All right. So can you tell us what happened? What was the effect of uh, having Viepti while someone was having a migraine attack? What did it help them? So the, co the what we call co-primary endpoints of the study were uh, pain relief within two hours and the most bothersome symptom relief within two hours. And we remember most bothersome symptom means the most bothersome non-pain symptom. And that's right. the FDA's requirement that 
uh, migraine drugs show that it doesn't just, it's not just a painkiller, that it actually relieves uh, the total migraine. And that's their way of looking at it. So those are the two co-primary endpoints. And the drug met the uh, statistical significance for both of those uh, endpoints within two hours. So this is a preventive drug that's already FDA approved, but uh, what they showed is if it's given during a migraine attack, it starts to work right away. So that's, that's pretty fascinating. We, we, we think of all of the medications that we've had in our, in our armamentarium for preventing migraine in the past, and there are all these things that it takes weeks or months you know, to kick in, or it takes dose titrations and, and right. uh, the like. Uh, but this is a medication that uh, you can get a sense for whether it's gonna work basically on the day that you receive it. So right. that's fascinating to think about it that way. That's great news. So what, um, so just to be clear, does this information in this press release, does it change what it says on the ViFD label? No, not at this moment. Uh, you know, so in this, these, these data have just been released and, and actually we only have just the top line signal of what's going on. The, the full results of the study will be presented at medical you know, meetings, virtual meetings this year, and uh, it will need to go through peer review and be published and that sort of thing. And then if the sponsor company, which is uh, Lundbeck Pharmaceuticals, if they decide to petition the FDA for a change in label, that will take some time to, to happen, you know, to, to take place as well. But it's still, I think it's something that our, our viewership and migraine uh, patients everywhere would, you know, sort of like to know about it. And if it's, a, it's an approved medication, you know, for prevention, but it has this special, you know, nuance effect uh, that could be helpful in deciding uh, which one of the new treatments you might want to start on. Right. And what are the implications of this that you see? Yeah, so if you think about it, uh, you know, this medication has to be administered in a, in a medical setting, basically, right. at uh, an infusion center, an urgent care center, an emergency room, those kinds of things. But if you think about the kinds of patients that might present there, it might be patients that have refractory, frequent uh, migraine attacks and uh, people who might have to go to the emergency room out of <clears throat> desperation you know, multiple times. And so if, you, if I, as an emergency room doctor, had that patient presenting to me, and I know that they're really struggling, and if I've given them standard painkillers and things like that, and they keep, you know, coming back, it's not a, a viable solution. This would be something that could be administered in that kind of medical setting, right. and you would get not only better prevention and, and prevent them from having to make that dreaded trip back to the emergency room so many times, but it also might give them uh, uh, relief while they, in the two hours that they're, they're there in the emergency room. So that would be, and you would get that early, early signal if you're on the right track or not. So that could be very reassuring for clinicians and patients alike. All right. All right. Well, is there anything else you would like to add on this update we're doing about ViFD and the latest press release before we go today? Well, we just look forward to getting the you know full data set out so we can see the, the, all the numbers behind the story and also get that peer review done and, and get it into the public domain so that people can know more about it. But as a clinician, as, as, a, as a migraine patient, it's, it's something that's very uh, attractive to me and it's uh, information that I'd like to know. And, and we look forward to you know, hearing more uh, in the future, we keep saying uh, exciting times we live in for, yep. it's good to have migraine news. Think about how long we went for many years without new bits of migraine news. And now it seems like there's a press release uh, yeah. you know, every other month on something and or more often than that in some cases. So it's an it's awesome happy to be able time. to share the news about it. Yeah. It's amazing. So thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you everyone for tuning in to Heads Up. Tune in again next week, where we'll bring you more information on the latest migraine news and updates. See you soon. Bye-bye.